We've been talking a lot lately about declining enrollment in the public schools, and that problem is creeping in at the college level, too. Has the Community College of Aurora planning for the future by trying to make sure the students graduate with their best chance of getting hired? Our Tori Mason does cover the big issues in Aurora for us. Tonight, she reports on the changes at CCA. The Community College of Aurora says cutting certain degree programs doesn't mean they're not valued. School leaders say they're just trying to keep up with industry changes. I'm saving money, I'm saving time, and they're helping me kickstart my career in the right way. Nadia's path to neuroscience starts at Community College of Aurora. We made it! It's where many choose to further their education. Woo! Now, CCA is cutting 30 degree and certificate programs. We don't want our students to waste their money. We don't want our students to waste their time. CCA saw a 12% drop in enrollment during COVID, but school leaders aren't passing blame on the pandemic. We've been seeing for a number of years a decline in the trust of the public in higher education. And I can totally understand that because personally, I lost trust in what what it meant. CCA looked at enrollment and spoke to local employers to see where changes could be made and where programs could go. A creative tool certificate, uh, office administrative certificate. CCA just broke ground on a new center for STEM. Brownlee wants to provide high wage opportunities and high quality instruction. Part of that high quality instruction is making sure that the programs that we offer them are going to lead them to the fulfillment of their dreams and their desires, uh, social and economic mobility. He says students often end up with just a piece of paper and aspirations that can't be realized. Their number one field of study is science. It's helping me graduate with the intention of being able to go into a high wage and high paying career field. Classes offered within those degree programs can still be taken as an elective and school leaders tell me they're reaching out to students who didn't finish their degrees in those programs for guidance on what to do next. Reporting in Aurora, I'm Tori Mason covering Colorado First. And Tori is very committed to covering the news impacting Aurora. If you have a good story about your neighborhood, reach out to our tip line, won't you? 303-863-TIPS or reach us online at cbscolorado.com.